Hey everyone, it's Logan with Full Sail Marketing. Thank you for watching and today we're gonna go a bit more in depth into blog strategy. What I mean by blog strategy is I've had other t uh, topics on how to create content and that's been stuff like write down your top questions that are being asked, um, use Google to figure out some suggestions, stuff like that. And that's all well and good, but what happens when you run out of ideas of you know, what people are, are asking you? And now you're back to the drawing board of what you gotta write about. So, what I have here is just um, an example of what you can do to actually generate a bunch of different blogs that not only read well, but they also are very effective when it comes to SEO meaning they rank high in Google. So, what this is, is, is this is an approach where it's top down, meaning you start broad and you work down into very specific subtopics. Now, the way that SEO works, just real brief, I have other talks on what SEO is and how that should go, is two things. One is gonna be topic that you talk about, and two is gonna be links that go into the page, meaning, what a link is, is if you think of it on a web page, when you go on Facebook and you click any sort of words that takes you somewhere else, that's a link. In Google and Yahoo and Bing's eyes, when a page links to your page, that's their way of saying, huh, this person linked to another page, this must be something good and relevant and useful, let's boost it up a bit. So that's a bit how SEO works. So how that applies to blogging is as such. Here's an example, let's say you're a painter and you wanna write about interior painting. You could start off with a blog that's a guide of interior painting. And what this guide is gonna entail is let's just say a couple paragraphs on four topics in the blog and the topics could be cost, time, you know how long it takes to do something, types of rooms, and project ideas, meaning um, stuff that you've already done that are relevant to this. So this blog is gonna have these four topics that are about a paragraph or two paragraphs each in that blog. Now, what you can do from here is the cost of this, you can expand on that. So now what we do is you write a blog that's separate from this blog that's now the cost of a room and another room and another room. And you talk a bit about the different costs of those rooms. So now you've got uh, three different blogs about costs of various rooms that tie back into this paragraph of this blog. So back with those backlinks, it's coming again. Let's go with another guide. How long it takes to, to paint a certain room. All right, two paragraphs, just brief overview. Well now you've got another three. How long does it take to paint a bedroom, to paint a bathroom? to paint a hallway and you talk about why. You know, bathrooms have a lot more uh, details to it, so that's why it takes longer. Well, that's three different blogs right there that tie back to this overall blog. Over here, types of rooms, all right? Maybe the guide to painting a bedroom or a ceiling or a foyer. So same deal, back to this. And the last one is project profile and what this is, is job and location one. Um, bathroom painting in Washington, D.C. Job and location number two, uh, four-year painting in San Diego, California. Whatever you're doing, you're tying it back to here. So now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 blogs that all tie back to this guide to interior painting. So what you can do is you can take these people on this path and say, look, if you want to learn more about interior painting, start with the overall big topic read a bit about everything you need to know right here, and then from there you can learn about the cost of something, how long it takes to do a specific room, um, a little bit more about general stuff that you should consider when painting a room, or just look at some of the ideas that, they, that this company came up with so you know what is possible. So I hope that helps. I hope this is not super confusing, but when in doubt, start very broad. Think of a service that you generally provide and then work your way down. Talk about cost, talk about length of time it takes, talk about specifics of um, where you can do it. If you're cutting the grass, you know, is the front lawn the same as the back lawn, you know, backyard, I don't know.
project ideas are always great because it talks about um, what you do in certain areas. So if someone lives in Baltimore, Maryland, and you're talking about a job in Baltimore, Maryland, that builds rapport. So a bunch of different things tie into one. This will be great for Google and people love it. Hope that helps and check out some more stuff. If you think that someone that you know is stuck with blog writing and they don't really know where to go, go ahead and share this video or you know just send it to them because there's a lot of contractors out there that might need this stuff. They don't really know the first step. So first steps are always the hardest to take, but once you can kind of game plan this stuff, it gets easier and easier and easier. Thanks.